I'm Danny Noriega, and I'm here to let you know that it gets better. I heard about the recent deaths about um, the teenagers that committed suicide, um, you know, for being outed and bullied about being gay, and it really hit home with me because um, in school, from as far as I can remember, I've been picked on. Um, for being different and for being, you know, too flamboyant or for skipping or for sitting a certain way or for just simply liking Britney Spears. I went to an elementary school from kindergarten to fourth grade and I remember we moved houses and um, I moved elementary schools in fourth grade and, you know, I was really excited. I was like, I'm going to meet new people. I get to reinvent myself. I mean, think about it. I was nine years old. I was excited to meet new friends, and I was a friendly kid. I loved meeting new people. I loved singing, and I loved Britney Spears, and I was like, oh my gosh, I get to meet people like me. That wasn't really the case. I was picked on so bad that I heard words that no nine-year-old should ever hear. I remember sitting, you know, in the bathroom, and I remember getting up, I remember looking in the mirror and asking God why he made me, why, what was my purpose, and I wanted to know why I was created and why other people didn't agree with the way that I was born. Because, you know, I was blessed with a mom that was actually very accepting growing up. And she, you know, always taught us we are the way we are because we're born like that. And no matter what or who we choose to be with, she's going to accept it. And I remember that day, just, it was awful. I remember, I don't even, I don't even think my mom knows this, but I really just didn't even want to live anymore. And no nine-year-old should think that. Like, you know, I should be playing with Barbies with my little cousin. Like, that's crazy. But, um... I remember looking in the mirror and saying, this is the worst day that I've ever had in my entire life. Why do these people do this to me? Why do these people do this to me? And I remember this day was so bad that this was the worst. And it can't get any worse than worse. So, you know, it had to have gotten better from there on. So that's what I told myself. And I was like, you know, it's going to get better because this is the worst day of my life. It can't get any more worse. So, um, from there on, it was actually getting a little better. Um, I had my mom take me out of that school, and I was put back to the school that I was actually, you know, mildly picked on at, but not freaking mentally tortured at. Um, then seventh grade, it came back again, and they were really mean, really horrible. Um, not as mean as they were in fourth grade, but I was still, you know, I had, I was spit on, I was had soda bottles thrown at me. I had people saying every name in the book to me. But it still wasn't as worse as fourth grade. And then eighth grade, I just decided to not give a damn and um, dress how I wanted to dress. Um, I basically said, you know, fuck it. Excuse my language. But, you know, I went out and did what I wanted to do. I wanted to just make a statement, you know, that I didn't care. And that attitude was kind of like catching people like, oh, okay, like he doesn't care anymore. Like what's going on? And then in ninth grade, I really didn't give a shit. So, I mean, in ninth, in high school, I was still picked on, but they were more afraid of my brother and stuff. So the point of these stories are that I know how you guys feel. Um, suicide is not the answer. Um, I know some of you feel like that's the only answer, but please listen to me. I have fought through it at nine years old. I fought through it, you know, at 12 years old. I, I, you know, came out of the closet when I was 12 years old, and from there on, I was completely, like, superwoman. More like Catwoman. That's just my point, you know what I mean? You have to be a fighter. You can't give up, because you can't let them win. After high school, it gets so much better. You surround yourself by people that you want to surround yourself with. You. You go out to clubs, you go party, you go do whatever you want to do. Even if that's not necessarily your lifestyle, you can be happy with you. Life is not high school. Half of the people that are making fun of you are going to be working at Burger King at 50 years old. You really need to understand that. It gets better. Promise you. 
I would not bullshit you. I would so be like, oh, let's get so much better. No, it gets so much better. And I really hope you guys watch this, and I hope I've helped some. Um, because I was that little scared nine-year-old little kid asking God, why the hell am I on this earth if people don't accept me? You need to be a fighter. I remembered that I was my mom's son, and my mom would beat my ass if I, you know, were to have given up. And I fought back. I, I don't necessarily expect you guys to, like, physically fight back, because I did. But I mean, you know, be good and no violence. I hope this helped you guys. I love you. Please don't give up and fight through it like Catwoman would have done. You are beautiful.